A statement by the Bank of Uganda indicates that messages posted on messaging application WhatsApp, a note issued by the central bank. The regulator says whereas shareholders of commercial banks have the option of selling shares to new investors as they deem appropriate, new investors in a commercial bank must satisfy the regulator that they are fit and proper. This follows recent media reports of the acquisition of a strategic stake by the former Barclays chief executive Bob Diamond's Atlas Mara Group. This after Atlas Mara found insisting on a write down of 60 billion shillings or 17 million US dollars off the bank's balance sheet. The owners, led by Sudhir Rupalaria, who owns 20% of Crane Bank, are against such a move, which would bring the overall valuation of the bank from their estimate of 300 million US dollars and closer to Atlas Mara's target of 250 million US dollars. A month ago, Crane Bank chairman Joseph Birivonwa says the bank was looking for a strategic equity investor, preferably with a regional and even better, a continental network. Crane Bank incurred losses of 3.31 billion Ugandan shillings for the year ending December 31, 2015, its first reverse in a decade after a profit of 50.64 billion Ugandan shillings in 2014, despite revenues jumping to 145.15 billion Ugandan shillings from 139.16 billion over the period. The loss arose from a huge stock of non-performing loans that forced the bank to increase provisions to 50.35 billion shillings in 2015 from 11.22 billion shillings the previous year.